Kayla and Jim and welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. Today we are going to talk about the perfect storm. The perfect storm. We have finally watched it. The long anticipated movie about a perfect storm and hurricane and crazy events that happened <laughs> back many moons ago. Years. Years ago. <laughs> October 1991 specifically. There we go. So many moons ago it was when I was in college. But before we get into our reaction of this movie, be sure to like this video and subscribe down below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. And hitting that subscribe button really helps us out a lot, so it doesn't take much time. Go ahead and click it now and onto our reaction. So we're going to take a look at clip number one, and that is the meteorologist or weatherman or whoever you want to call it uh, is actually looking at the storm and we're going to see what their take is of it and describe it to one of the news folks that are there and yep. see how it goes. We got Hurricane Grace moving north off the Atlantic seaboard. Huge. Getting massive. Two. This low south of Sable Island ready to explode. Three. Fresh cold front swooping down from Canada. The darn thing's going to arrive on the jet stream is motoring towards the Atlantic. It's an oh. actual satellite image. Anyway, what if? Good start. What if Hurricane Grace went smack into it? Just start feeding off both the Canadian cold front and Hurricane Grace. You could be a meteorologist all your life and never see something like this. It would be a disaster of epic proportions. It would be the perfect storm. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> a disaster of epic proportions. And that is exactly what it turned into. The perfect storm. The perfect storm. So in that clip, we have a meteorologist that's looking at actual weather data yep. of the event. Of the event? Itself. It's actually <laughs> a meteorologist talking about meteorology things about the actual event that actually happened. Using meteorological terms actually make meteorological sense for the meteorological yes. event that's about to happen. And actual <laughs> meteorological things that happened during the meteorological event that the meteorologist <laughs> is talking about. So now we're going to take a look at the next couple clips that talk about rescue missions when it comes to these big storms. Yep. What does it take? You know, you're out there and you get stuck and you call the Coast Guard, you say mayday, mayday. What operations are going on? All I'm saying is I wouldn't drive or boat out into this storm for anything, <laughs> so power to them. I could never be part of the Coast Guard. That's right. This is insane. So the first video that we're going to see in terms of the rescue operations, we're going to take a look at this clip where they are trying to refuel. They just came up from Bermuda, I believe, rescuing yep. another boat and people aboard. So now they're heading up toward where the Andrea Gale is and they are running out of fuel. So yep. uh, this is... This is what takes place. This is what happens. Let's see. Oh my goodness. There's lightning, there's rain, there's crazy winds. Promising. <laughs> For a perfect storm, they're building it up pretty good. Pretty good. These poor guys have to try to refuel a helicopter in the middle of a hurricane. It's one thing to do it on a regular calm day yeah. with sunny skies. It's another thing to do it in the middle of a hurricane, extra tropical yeah. storm, lining up. It's all over the place. Near impossible. I'm sure they can get it done, but this was such an extreme event. I mean, not only does the helicopter crew have to try to, to do that, but the airplane in front of them has got to keep it steady as well. And not yeah. They try. No! <laughs> not to mention it hits the helicopter. And that's where I would not be happy if I was on in the helicopter. No, no, no. You see those raging seas down there? You see all this lightning? You see all this darkness? 
We're gonna jump out of this and we're going down there. No thanks, <laughs> no thanks. It takes a special group of people to be able not only to go into the face of danger, but yeah. then when things go sideways, to follow protocol, use their training and all their skills, and then be able to survive. It's, it's a lot of training. I give them a lot of credit. You know, things mm -hmm. that you don't think about, all the operations that go into trying to rescue people, and this is a reality. Yep, this is a reality with, I mean, this happens with a lot of hurricanes mm -hmm. and stuff. There's always people like this who have to go out into the middle of it and do these kinds of things, and it's like, wow, this movie definitely showed a, a realistic side of hurricanes and being in them and not just for entertainment value. It's, this is the, the nitty gritty of what actually happens. That's right. And, and also the view of not only the lives of the people that were on the Andrea Gale and, and everyone back home in Gloucester, Massachusetts, and, you know, but you also have the lives of those trying to rescue them too. Yeah, very realistic look yeah. into a, a hurricane and a storm like this. Our next video clip is the actual Coast Guard boat actually rescuing the uh, helicopter crew helicopter people. That's, that's in the water now and yep. the operation that takes to do a recovery for these people. So yep. let's take a look. Look at those waves. Oh my goodness. The waves, the wind, the lightning. And if anything, they're probably under dramatizing how big these waves were. Boats going up, you know, are they able to see them you know, until they finally find them? They're going down, boats going up, vice versa. The rain, the wind, the spray. I'm trying to swim in that too. And that one, one dude there, he's actually uh, had internal damage, you know. Yeah, he's he injured. hurt himself internally, and and now he's got to try to float and survive and try to get over to the boat. Yeah, imagine trying to swim in this while injured on top of everything. Mm -hmm. I have enough problems on a sunny <laughs> day with waves off of Daytona Beach. Right. I can't imagine this. <laughs> It's almost like you're living your life under a waterfall in some of these scenes. Looks like it. The determination of these people. It's incredible. Yep. Uh, the decision making skills and you know following your training and yeah. you know what to do, you got people on board, you got people in the water. How do you do this while all this chaos is going on? It's just yeah. incredible. All right, our final clip is going to be the climax of the entire movie, the tallest wave in the entire thing. Yep. And this is it. This is it. This is it. So at this point in the movie, the Andrea Gale has decided to abandon the plan to go back to Massachusetts. They're like, nope, we decided the wrong thing, shouldn't be in the middle of this storm. Let's turn around, head toward Portugal, you know? <laughs> Just chill out there for a little bit until the storm blows off. And then we'll go back and um, yeah, it looks like it might be too little too late. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> you got this. You got this. <laughs> you can see they oh. almost get to the top. Almost. You hear that in the background, kind of like that F5 tornado <laughs> and twister. Yes. Oh, but it's they just... almost get there. Dude, they're like. 30 seconds too late. They just... Mm. And that's it. And that's it. Look at that. And the sea is just... That's it. That's it. So... Uh, how do you recover from that? Yeah. When your boat mostly fills with water and... It's completely upside down. <laughs> your crew is below deck drowning. But... Um, 
Yeah, they had uh, seas. The one of the buoy readings around that area was to a hundred feet. Waves to a hundred feet tall. Yeah. So it's very realistic that. Yeah. They encountered something like that. They had 70 mile an hour, 70 knot, I forget, uh, winds. Um, significant winds. Significant winds. Cat 1, hurricane force, yep. definitely. Higher gusts and it just covered a large geographical region and these guys yeah. just couldn't get out of it. And the unfortunate part is that uh, this is all based on a story that actually happened. So it's it adds a little bit more to the end of the movie when you're watching it and it's like oh man it's like they were so close and mm -hmm. no don't go into the storm we know how this ends <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah but I mean accuracy mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> so meteorological accuracy and on a scale from 1 to 10 1 being bit, yeah. 10 being aces I mean definitely better than Into the Storm <laughs> uh, in my books, it tops Twister. It's it was a yeah. accurate representation in almost every way. I mean, I can't find any any faults with. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely I'm a serious. nine. <laughs> I'd say it's a nine. Close. I'm sure there's something. You know? I'm sure there's something that we could nitpick at. Like normally we watch these movies, and we're like, oh, look at that tornado! It's spinning in the wrong direction. Or look at this one! It's like he just came out of nowhere, and it's yeah. this or that or the other thing. But this one, we were both, I don't think we said any comments the entire movie. <laughs> From a meteorological accuracy perspective, it's like they had something to work with because yeah. it was already a past event and, yeah. and people's history and recent because I think the movie came out in 2000. Yeah. So it was yeah, only right nine then. years, you know, so yeah. it's still fresher in people's minds. So the accuracy is, is was pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good meteorological. Yeah, and the the meteorologist in the movie, I was watching some clips getting ready for making this video and stuff, and I was watching some clips of Jim Cantori doing his little briefing on that, and I was like, oh, okay! <laughs> Seeing the meteorologist in this movie, it's kind of like, okay, I can see that the people who did the film watched those broadcasts. They were there, they lived through it, they did the research, they, they knew what was going on. They knew how the meteorologists were talking about this. And yeah, mm -hmm. nobody made, I think there was one comment in the movie about a meteorologist being horrible at their job or whatever, <laughs> but. There's always that comment. There's always that comment. <laughs> There's always gonna be that comment. You can't please everybody. That's right. Um, entertainment value. I don't know if you classify this as entertaining. Cause I mean it was, but it was sad. Cause it's like an actual story. Mm -hmm. So it's like, would I watch it again? Yeah, it was a good movie. But I mean, it's not entertaining to see everybody <laughs> no. drowning. If you didn't know it was based off of a true story. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a good movie. I I'd rate it a nine. I, I think it was up there quite a bit. It's a very good movie. Very yeah, well when, done. When, when you have the, the family interaction and and how the life of a fisherman, you know, yeah. the sea captain, all, all that goes together in the crew and the relationships and stuff like that, you know, and then you throw in the weather components there. It was very realistic. They did a really yeah. great job on it. So, Aces. Way to go, Hollywood! All right, so there you have it. That is our reaction to The Perfect Storm. Obviously, it's not the entire movie that we're reacting to, but our thoughts and opinions on uh, the part that we watched. And if you want to check out more of our weather adventures and other stuff that we do, check us out on our social medias, Facebook and Instagram, as well as our website, which is linked down below. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And happy. faces looked pretty much the same. I was like, what were you doing? Okay. <laughs>